grace, power, ministry, and love. Incline your ears to wisdom and your hearts to understanding. Receive the word of God according to knowledge. Welcome to preach. To preach. To preach. Be a voice, not an echo. Join Minister Chantrell for today's message. Good day, beloved. I think this is dream number five. It is still December 7, 2017. It is 2.07 p.m. And we're going to keep this rolling. Uh, the next dream is very short, but I know I have to share it because it was very interesting. Uh, yeah, this was the same dream. Uh, this vision I had on 11-22-2017, and I just called it warning, bombs dropping EMP, USA. And why I say USA, because I even saw the state that I was in. And in this short vision, it was simple, clear, and to the point. I was shown various places in the USA, even the state where I live, in which I live. Bombs were dropping. Suddenly, then there was other bombs. This bomb looked red and white in color. It ain't no look. It wasn't red and white. It was white, and it had red rings at the tip, red circle around, not the tip tip, but, you know, close to the edge. That's what it saw, the red and white bomb. That's all I know is red and white. And uh, there were other bombs. There were other bombs, too. And what I saw is these bombs going forth. I saw something in the air. It almost looked like fireworks. Stuff was bursting in the air. And then things begin to fall. And there were electric. Every time these other bombs exploded, I heard electricity. Eh, 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 eh. I mean, you could just hear it. You could see the lights. But I heard audibly when they blew up. I heard electricity. So first there were bombs that it was not creating electricity. Then I heard bombs that when they blew up and when they fell, I heard because they were like sparks in the air. They looked like sparks in the air. And I heard electricity. And um, in this dream, I referred to another dream. Uh, those of you who saw a dream where I said that they were lost or they were uh, red lost or red locusts, because people didn't know they were red locusts. I was like, I can show you pictures of red locusts. They were just as red as the hornets. And I saw the hornets, and they were hornets, so I put both because I looked like it was a little boat. And they were dropping stuff out of the sky, and everything those things touched. Uh, destroyed. And anyone who does research and study, you know that sometimes when you see swarms and hornets and locusts, it can mean armies, as well as famine and pestilence, it can mean armies. And after I saw these bombs, I saw one of those same little red, not little, that dang hornet's about that big. It wasn't no normal size hornet with wings. And all of a sudden, when I saw that and heard the electricity in the sky, when the hornets were in the sky in the other vision, in this vision, after these bombs went up and after these sparks went in the air and I heard electricity, one of them just quietly came and landed on the ground. And I don't care. Nobody said it's symbolic. First, they were in the earth. Then one of these things came down and it made contact with the ground. And it was very clear. I saw that thing come down and it was in a night sky. Quiet. I mean, awakened as, as I'm awake now. And that big thing landed right there on the concrete. And I looked down at it, and that's when I opened my eyes. And in the dream, when that thing was coming, I was talking to my husband, telling him, that's the, them the hornets I saw from the other dream. So I referred to the other dream in this dream. And then after I saw the bombs and I saw the sparks, and I heard, I audibly heard electricity, I saw this thing come down. And I'm telling my husband it says it come down. And then it landed on the ground. And that's where I opened my eyes. We're going to keep it because I got more dreams to go. I'm going to just read these scriptures here. Uh, Matthew 10, 27. Take this read before the Lord, y'all. What I tell you in darkness that speak ye in light, and what you hear in the ear that preach ye on the housetop. Um, Acts 2, 17 through 18. And it shall come to pass that in the last days, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall dream dreams. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And what I tell y'all prophesying was to foretell and to tell forth. Telling forth the word of God and dreams, vision, and boldly proclaiming, and turning over tables when people contrary, and rebuking when people out of place. That's prophesying. It ain't always about dreams of foretelling. That's why y'all need to hear the message that the Lord gives me too. They are warnings. And you're going to be held accountable. That's all I got to say on that. 7, 13, and 19. 
Now I tell you before it come that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. Proverbs 29 and 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. Second Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose till there was no remedy. First John 4 and verse 6. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth us not. That's what people don't want to hear. Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when this cometh to pass, and lo, it will come. Then shall you know that there's been a prophet among you. They should know that there's been a prophet among them. Return unto me, according to Malachi 3, 3 and 7, and I will return unto you. Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted. Behold, I come quickly according to Revelation 6 and 6, uh, 16, verse 15. And I am warning the wicked according to Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9, and I'm warning the righteous according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Repent. There's about to see some things that hit this earth. I believe that was symbolic. Not only is it coming to the air, it's coming to the ground. Take this dream before the Lord. We already know war is coming. I've recorded dreams all the way from 2011 and been circulating them repeatedly. Those of you, again, who have not listened to that seven dreams of war, I urge you to go listen to it. And they are very symbolic and they are very detailed. And I believe the two armies that I was shown in one of the dreams marching on both sides coming against America. Um, take this dream before the Lord. Grace be with you, and I love you all. Uh, this is dream five. I got six, seven, and eight coming, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Grace be with you. I love you all. Pray with me and pray for me as I do for you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach. Be a voice, not an echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.